Hi, Taurus. This is G1 Writer with G1 Insights, your favorite tarot reader and astrologer. I love you so much, Taurus. I am excited because it seems like all of you Earth signs are going through this phase of moving on, ready for some new excitement, ready for something brand new, something fresh, right? So this is exciting. Taurus, this is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising, overall life and love energy for the month of August 2019. We have the new moon in Leo at the top of the month, and then we will have a full moon and Aquarius coming up, okay? And that energy is going to be really, really interesting, okay? So I'm going to talk about it. So, Taurus, first off, it seemed like you guys are completely done with whatever it is that you were doing. Like, you're completely done with this lifestyle. You're ready to move on. Um, you could be just totally done with the relationship. You could be done with this fake-ass friendship. Like, <laughs> your energy was pretty much the same in July. So, this is hilarious. Like, um, you guys are done, like done, done. Like, I feel like you guys have gave certain people a chance and, um, no matter what they do or no matter how soft you try to be or no matter how honest you are, they just, they just won't, they're not getting it. And for a lot of you, um, this is like, yeah, I'm done. Like, this is so redundant. Like, I'm over it. I'm ready for new friends. I'm ready for a whole new lifestyle. Like, I want new everything. Like, a new car, new place to live, just a new environment, new everything. And I sense that very strongly with you, Taurus. And it's interesting because in the month of July, your ruling planet was in Cancer. And so, it brought up a lot of deep wounds and emotions. But... Um, for some of you, they were happy emotions, and for some of you, they were emotions you did not necessarily feel like dealing with. But I feel like this season for you is better when it comes to your finances, okay, which is really, really good, okay? However, I do feel like there was also some type of hostilities that was happening, like a lot of um, resentment, a lot of regret, a lot of anger towards a situation or towards a person and I feel like that is also coming to a complete end. So whatever disagreement you guys were having when it comes to um, just your finances possibly or your home environment or um, even within family, whatever disagreement you guys were having or if you found at some point you couldn't really come to an agreement at the point when you wanted to, then this season is really going to kind of pull you out of your shell. And so don't be afraid to speak your mind because I feel like the universe has your back when it comes to, you know, speaking your thoughts, you know, and speaking how you feel and not allowing people to. Um, and it's interesting because I remember last year around this time, like you guys were going through some similar things where boundaries were being crossed. People were not talking to you the way they should have been talking to you. You know, they were, like, um, trying to take advantage, disrespecting you, not respecting your values. And I feel like this season, you're kind of putting people in their place. So that's really a good thing, I guess, right? That's, that's really exciting. But I want you to also know, Taurus, that financially, you guys should be doing quite well this season, okay? With the new moon going into Leo, this is really going to be a lot of inspiration, a lot of happiness, a lot of, um, I feel like all of you earth signs are just going through the space of liberation, like just feeling renewed, like this new sense of renewed energy, like feeling like a new person. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, unless you're like a Taurus or Capricorn or Virgo, then you would know what I mean. But all of you guys are going through the space of, I just want something new. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Out of all you've been through, you guys do deserve that. And it's interesting because I even spoke a lot about this energy in July. Like I talked about it. Like earth signs and water signs were literally going to be living in their divine purpose, doing what they have to do. And it's like in the month of August, you actually see, it's kind of like when you 
plant seeds, right, for a flower. Like, as if you plant seeds and you're waiting and you're watching and you're praying that it comes out beautifully and and then it, it doesn't quite sprout up when you need it to. But just when you stop thinking about it or just when you stop watching or just when you stop praying or just when you're about to give up, that is when the universe is like, ta-da! You know, so there's that, that moment that you're going to have where it's going to be like, Oh, okay, so this is what I had to wait for. <laughs> like, this is what all the headache was about, you know? Like, there's, there's that moment of um, appreciation. And I feel like if you ha are currently going through that moment where you feel like you are not sure if you appreciate it, I guess. Like, if you are not really totally being grateful for everything that you do have, then this is probably one of the seasons where you want to be grateful, where you want to kind of start counting your blessings. Because physically and financially and even emotionally, you guys are on point. And, you know, I just feel like, you know, for all of you earth signs in general, really, I just feel like faith is going to be like a really big thing for you. Just because a lot of you have been praying and constantly asking for relief. And I feel like this season, all earth signs will get that. But it's all about your faith, my love. It's all about your belief system. And so... The universe is really asking that you just trust in divine spirit. Like, just, just hold on a bit. Because the moment that you are ready to just give up is when the, the energy is going to come to you, either through a dream or through a person, through a TV show, through a commercial. You may get that realization, like, oh, there it is. I can do that. Or... I should call those people. I should call her. Or maybe I should call him up. Like, you're going to have that, that ding, 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 ding answer. Like, it, <laughs> it's just going to pop up in your head. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be a really, really good season to really, really redirect your energy into something a lot more positive, a lot, something that is a lot more um, encouraging, something that is going to help you easily raise your vibration. So keep your own wavering thoughts and feelings and actions focused on your target, and you will make it mark, okay? So in other words, the more you focus on something positive, it's going to be positive. The more you focus on something negative, you will get the negative. So it's probably best that you take your time and focus on the positive, okay? So I know that whoever returned from the past last month, they did kind of stir up a lot of deep emotions. Like, they really did begin to get on your nerve. Like, why are you calling me? Can you leave me alone? Why are you emailing me? Why are you, you know, following me and harassing me on Facebook? Like, yeah, I just feel like you guys are kind of taking a step back and really analyzing some things and thinking. But I want you to know that for, like I said, once again, when it comes to finances and love, for a lot of you earth signs, this is going to be a beautiful season, man. And I know that for some of you, you're like, oh, my God, but I'm still going through this and I'm still going through that. But I promise you, my love, you have to change your belief system. I promise you, this is a season where you want your faith to be at an all-time high. Because when I think of Leo, I think that Leos are very confident. You know, they may be very sensitive or they may have some insecurities, but in other areas they can be very confident because they know what they can do and so not only that but they are very vibrant like they have a very vibrant energy about them i mean hell their ruling planet is the sun like you can't look at the sun and become depressed <laughs> so it's just the same way like you can't possibly look at all the things that the universe is doing for you and be depressed or be sad or be upset or be um resentful so the universe basically wants you to begin to communicate what you desire you know speak up for yourself this season don't let people just tell you what you know what they think that you want to hear don't let them do that to you. I feel like you guys are really walking away from what no longer serve you. And there's a lot of creativity involved. There's a lot of, so whatever project you were working on during Mercury Retrograde, and maybe it got slowed down, people didn't come through, maybe it got delayed, maybe you didn't get the building on time, maybe you didn't sign the contract on time, or maybe you did and now you want out. You know, this is going to be the season to say, you know what, yeah, you know what? 
I, I can dig this. I can decide that I want something greater for myself. I want to move forward. I don't think that I want any parts of this. And this is going to be good for you because you're being honest with yourself. But for some of you, I will be honest with you. For some of you that are in love, if there has or was some type of separation between July and now, then um, between you and a spouse or between you and your siblings or you and your children, perhaps, maybe your children... Um, was in a hospital for a while. Maybe your, you and your spouse separated for a while. It's nothing to really fret over. I feel like um, they will return. They are returning. And that is going to really brighten up your mood a little bit because you're going to get excited. You're going to be happy because the money is flowing. You know, the love of your life is there. And again, for those of you that are single, this is going to be a perfect time if you have been single for a while to actually want to get out and mingle and meet some new people that can have really help brighten up your day or to really um bring any aspirations to your life really okay um i was i think that this is possibly even a water sign this can be a pisces a scorpio this can even be a cancer for some of you if it is a cancer then just kind of watch out for their possessiveness okay i think that this person means well but they just do things in such an awkward way and it just it's like i feel like a lot of you did miss this person but you was afraid to kind of you know, be serious with them because everything they did, it was like kind of like a joke to them, you know? And look at that, it's 11-11. <laughs> so, you know, for a lot of you, this is twin flame energy, you know what I mean? So, yeah, whoever it was that came into your life and disappeared, a lot of them may have returned and now they're doing everything that they can to prove to you that they have changed. So what do you want to do, Taurus? It's all up to you, okay? The ball is literally in your court this season. So, Taurus, I love you. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for sharing this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message, okay? I love you. Have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye.